morning, friends. Uh, Happy New Year to all my subscribers, uh, new and old. A little late, but better late than never. Um, so, I'm currently heading towards uh, Bagnall, which is uh, just see the edges of, the outskirts of, uh, for what is basically a uh, diary entry one of the Staffordshire Moorlands diaries where I'm going to be walking around exploring the Staffordshire Moorlands while navigating all manner of terrain like <laughs> some pretty nasty bog there um, but yeah I plan on uh, exploring from uh, I live pretty much on the western or the eastern edge of Stoke-on-Trent uh, uh, which is the western edge of the Staffordshire Moorlands um, the furthest west is Biddle where I was brought up which is part of the reason I'm doing this because I've never explored I've spent the first 19 years of my life in the Staffordshire Moorlands and there's still places I've never been so so yeah um, I thought it's time to come and see all of it bit by bit obviously so like I say it starts from Stoke-on-Trent on the west well the, the edge is just outside Stoke it's all rural the most westerly town big town is Biddle most southerly is Cheadle uh, northerly it stops just shy just short shy of Buxton and to the west uh, west is always the best because that's the peak district and the most noticeable town on its western edge is Hartington so yeah I'll be exploring them as well as really big adventures uh, but yeah entry one is going to take me from Bagnall uh, over to Stanley Pool where we actually cross into Derbyshire uh, but only briefly but I want to check out Stanley Pool because of uh, uh, its paddle butting potential I believe there's a club there, uh, then we'll head down to the Calden Canal, back into the Staffordshire Moorlands, up into Endon, another village in the Moorlands, well all these villages are in the Moorlands, apart from Stanley, and we'll finish going through Brown Edge, but it's not going to be a village walk, it's going to be rural, uh, but I will cross, go through these villages like I'm about to with with Bagnall I see here so yeah welcome to the Staffordshire Moorlands Diaries and I'll give you more info as we go So here we are in Bagnall. Uh, Bagnall, a uh, bit of history about it. So it wasn't recorded, here's the war memorial. I'm walking past. And I love that they still got an old red post box. Bagnall wasn't recognised in the Doomsday Book. It was the first known settlement was around the 1200s, so the Saxon period. Um, and uh, it's also known as being one of the most tranquil villages in the whole of the Staffordshire Moorlands. And here we have one of just over a hundred 
gold post boxes just outside the church of St Chad. Uh, the gold post boxes were posted for anyone who won a gold medal in the London 2012 Olympics. Um, and this one was for Lee, Lee, Pierce, Lee Pearson, uh, who won gold uh, in the Paralympics for the equestrian team. Uh, you can see there. So yeah, 110, I believe, scattered throughout the UK, so quite rare. And here we are at St Chad's Church, beautiful church. And a, a beautiful village, Stafford Arms. Never actually been, but heard many a good thing about it, so. So yeah, uh, Bagnell Village Centre. How picturesque, eh? So I'm gonna get some photos. And so this is predominantly what makes up the 225 square, 225,000 square miles that makes up the Peak District. Uh, farming pastures and uh, the big hills of the Peak District and the far district. Uh, Very eastern edge, which uh, I can't wait to go and explore. That will be done with my tent and uh, over at least a night, possibly a couple of nights, for some cracky views over in the distance to shut things low. Two hundred and twenty-five thousand square miles, and uh, as of two thousand and eighteen, there were ninety-eight, just over ninety-eight thousand people in the county, in the district. to visit quite some time. As you know, I'm forever either on the Calden, on my paddleboard, walking past the Calden Canal, 
and uh, yeah it's a big part of my outdoor activities and the cauldron has three feeders which I'm pr I've probably mentioned in a past vlog uh, Rudyard Lake which I know very well Knifersley Pool which you might know from one of my movies um, but also uh, uh, Stanley Pool and another thing about Stanley Pool is you can paddleboard here so I wanted to come and check out what it was like for paddleboarding and I've got to admit it's perfect it's quite sheltered in a little valley so yeah I shall certainly be getting uh, bringing my paddleboard up here anyway let's check the map because from this point I'm not sure so yeah catch you in a bit still at Stanley Pool but uh, as, as is often the case when you come to somewhere new you stumble across, across something that you're not expecting uh, but sadly uh, no public right of way beyond this point um, I'll get a zoomed in video of that but that's basically army training or one of them go eight places but looks like a lot of fun so uh, look into that when I get home but yeah says I shouldn't go any further so I best be a good boy So across the road and now begins the climb. Uh, I've cut through all, a couple of estates but uh, uh, yeah got quite the climb ahead of me but it's worth it. Uh, it's always worth it. So yeah. Uh, heading out of end and now all shortcut it's really really beneficial anyway I'll see you a bit later so just about recovering from the climb I know it's only short but my god is it steep but uh, back in good old rustic Staffordshire and here I have a few options for my hike so I believe I will be going uh, this way head towards Brown Edge carry on could head towards my friend's house in Biddlemore but that would be some hike uh, especially considering I've already done about five miles six maybe so yeah this is like the turn point, head home point, but yeah, we're still only kind of halfway, so um, yeah, uh, let's see what else we we come across, but yeah, nice to be back out of the 
of the villages and the main roads and to the countryside. As you can probably tell, I never want to shake a challenge. I decided to take a bit of a detour, head further, excuse me, head further up into the moors. Uh, I am now, I am, I am still sort of heading in the homeward direction, as, as I've just literally come over the crest of this hill and been and witnessed this. Stoke on Trans under a golden sky. Magnificent. So yeah. Still finding places within walking distance from my front door that are absolutely stunning. Uh, and uh, who knows what I, I still got. I think about three to three, three, three and a half, four miles, four miles max, three miles a minute. As I said, I've never been this, never been here before, so I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'm within four miles of home. Uh, but this has been uh, such a delight. Uh, some things I wanted to do, I've done, and uh, come to places that I've never been and the stunning and uh, like I say got a few more miles to go so yeah who knows what else this walk's got left for me but even if it's uh, even if it's just more of this I'll be happy yeah grand day out
final stretch of what oh, when I set out I was not expecting a hike of this 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 length this this much altitude but um certainly been worth it uh, still magical views but uh yeah, home will stretch. And like I say, entry one of the Staffordshire Moorlands diaries are nearly, nearly complete. A little bit more filming because there's a few little nice bits uh, still to come, but uh, yeah, I hope you've uh, hope you enjoyed the part of the Moorlands that I can access just from my front door and there's so much more to see so like i say ongoing project but fun project Just look at that. <laughs> oh, this bit. Oh, it's almost unavoidable, but the whole, it's been present, ever present, whole, whole hike. So I can actually see the top end of my estate now. So. Probably crossing the border as we speak from Staffordshire Moorlands and to Stoke on Trent. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you don't have to go far out. Well, let me let me rephrase that. Stoke on Trent has got some real bad problems, and we didn't do a video on that. I keep saying that, so I really am going to get round to doing that. Uh, but travel outside of its boundaries and I'm in any direction north, south, east is probably best because you've got the peak district but any travel out in any direction and you've just got stunning stunning scenery the sun begins to set on what has been a fabulous day out in the hills all from my front door as well brilliant